hello and welcome to things in game maker that you might not be using but you totally should be i am going to be talking about tags tags just give your asset keywords what are tags tags are keywords that you can assign to assets like objects or sprites you can assign multiple tags to an asset if you want to if you've got a chicken we might give it the keywords small bird and farm if got a pig we might give it the keywords medium, stinky, and farm. And if we've got a cow, we might call it large, stinky, and farm. Now all of these keywords in GameMaker are called tags. If we wanted to show the stinky assets, both the pig and the cow are marked with the stinky tags, so it would return the pig and the cow. If we wanted to show the small assets, only the chicken would appear because it's the only one with the small tag. However, show the farm assets, would show all three animals, the chicken, the pig, and the cow, because all three of these animals are marked with the farm tag. Tags are useful in the editor and during gameplay. Let's see an example. I have here a basic platformer. It's got all the basic things a platformer has. The character can move right or left, and he can jump up on these mushroom platforms. When the character lands on a mushroom from up in the air, I'd like the character to bounce back up a bit as if the platform was bouncy, so I'll create a tag for the mushroom platform with the name bouncy. I've already prepared some code that checks for the tag called bouncy on the platform the character lands on using this function called asset has any tag. If the platform contains the bouncy tag and the character's falling speed is great enough, then you'll bounce back up a little bit from the jump. To assign the tag to the platform, I'm going to right click on the mushroom object, click on edit tag, then type in bouncy. After I type the word, I press comma to add the tag. Now you can see that when I run the project, the character can climb up the mushrooms and if he lands on one from high enough, he'll bounce on the mushroom since it was given the bouncy tag. Now this tag can be applied to any platform that we want to be bouncy. For fun, let's add it to the grass. I'll find the grass object and right click on OBJ grass. I'll click on edit tags and then add the bouncy tag. Now when I test the game, the character can land on the grass from high enough and will bounce on the grass as soon as he lands because the grass now contains the bouncy tag. I like to use tags to give my game maker assets different properties that determine their in-game behavior. My objects have tags like grassy that show grass particles when the character walks on them. The tag Snowy lets the character sink a little bit into him as he walks. And now, as you saw, the tag Bouncy lets the character bounce on an object that has the tag as he lands on them from a high jump. Use tags in your projects to give your assets keywords. It helps keep your project organized and allows for some really great tricks.